For the second consecutive year, the business study students at Goulburn High School have worked tirelessly on Goulburn's Carnival of Cups meeting. The students plan and run all of the activities on the day, including the live entertainment, children's activity corner and all of the competitions for on-track patrons. Goulburn High School's business studies teacher Arj Stovelar has a passion for the sport and a keen interest in seeing his students benefit from being involved in such an important event for the Goulburn Club. Oh, they've done a tremendous job today. They were, you know, um, putting all the preparation, they've done all the promotion of the event and uh, all the advertising. They put on all the performances today. They've been collecting money at the gate. They've been participating in the races. It's been a full on day of action. It's been great. So how does it come about? Um, look, Mark Croata, the secretary of the, uh, of the club, basically came up to us and said, look, how about Goulburn High School get involved in terms of promoting our event and we'll donate the proceeds from the gate to the school. And um, I've always had an interest in harness racing myself. I'd, I had shares in a couple of horses and I uh, ran it through the principal and he said, look, this is a wonderful idea. We're putting, you know, action, learning into action. And uh, the end result is basically what we see today. Yeah. The students love being a part of it each and every year? Oh, no, they, they think it's fantastic. They, um, a lot of them didn't actually know much about harness racing. They've never really seen it before, but it's become a bit of a, a phenomenon at school. We've got more than half the staff here today and um, they're all out cheering. Um, They've loved the mini trots today. They've found that absolutely fantastic and uh, they managed to back a couple of winners too, just quietly. So, While the students were still on school holidays, they all attended the race meeting in their school uniform and the link between the high school and the Goulburn community is evident. With the students set to return to the classroom later this week, they have all taken on the extra work in their stride. They're really dedicated students. Um, you know, they're picking a subject that's not easy to begin with and, um, you know, I think their natural leadership capacity has really shone through, that we've got our prefects involved and, and our, a lot of our students think um, that, you know, this is one of the best days on the school calendar. And uh, this year also the uh, the childcare um, students got involved as well? Yeah, they started supervising the kids down in the kids corner, which has been really, really good and it's just given them some more practical skills and, and putting links to learning, which is a huge part of education. While the meeting is a successful one, Mr Stovelar, the school and the club would like to see the meeting move to a different time of year to increase the students' involvement in the planning of the day. Yeah, we're actually going to move the date of the event, um, basically because it is in the middle of the holidays. It, there's only so much we can do with planning um, and it makes it harder to get things done. So we're going to make this a bigger and better event. We've got bigger plans for next year. We're definitely going to expand the Battle of the Codes, which was a concept from the kids. And uh, I think next year we're going to see something really, really good. Yeah. And you uh, part owned the winner of race number two, so it's uh, it's made the day even better. That was the loudest cheer. I, I, just quietly a lot of the staff got a, an early tip on that horse and uh, yeah, I'll be a very popular colleague tomorrow, I can guarantee you that. <laughs> Congratulations on the day, it's been a cracker, well done. Thanks mate, I appreciate it.